Hello Virgo, this is Tara Queen Jamila here to do your four month love cast, psychic love cast for the lovers and the singles. So welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you are in need of a private reading, the link to my website is below. And uh, I do also offer other spiritual services, okay? Um, cleanses, healings, money spells, things of that nature, okay? So anyway, let's get started, okay? I'm just going to call to the spirits and spirit guides. I'm going to be using the Cosmic Tarot deck today. Uh, we do have Mercury going into retrograde in April. So a lot of people have been having some issues in April. I've noticed a pattern. Uh, so let's see what's going on with you guys. I'm going to call to the spirit, spirit guides for the Virgos. What messages do you have for Virgo lovers and Virgo singles for February, March, April, and May of 2018? Okay, what are you seeing for the next four months? What messages do you have for the love life? Okay, Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and, you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, I have your answer. Oh, Virgo. Okay, Princess of Cups comes up. So this represents, it's got to be your lover feel like it's got to be, it's, it represents your love life. It represents your relationship. So no matter who you're with right now, I feel as though the love is flowing between the two of you. Okay. Now, if you're single, I feel as though you're possibly uh, being pursued by a water sign. This is a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Okay. March, you got the five of pentacles. For April, you got the Five of Swords, Virgo. For May, you got the Eight of Wands. I'm a little concerned for you, Virgos, okay? Something's going on here. Definitely. Let, first of all, let's do some clarifiers on the Princess of Cups. What do you want Virgos to know about the Princess of Cups? Okay, the Prince of Wands, I feel as though um, represents, <coughs> oh, bless me, good Lord. Thank you, that felt good. I feel like yeah, the page Prince of Wands represents communication. I feel like a lot of you um, are either, I feel like if you're with this person, I feel like there's some, some possible uh, either negative communication or either lack of communication. Uh, what's the next card? The Ace of Wands. So I feel like somebody's trying to get in touch with you, Virgo, okay, for the month of February. Now, for some reason, in the month of March, and I'm not going to re-throw these cards, I hate the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles represents insecurity. The Five of Pentacles represents, you know, uh, you know, people, you know, people possibly, you know how when people sort of, gather you know how in high school when people would gather around you and they would tease you about you know something that that your boyfriend or your girlfriend said or something that happened and then you'll just be feeling all like oh nobody likes me i'm feeling left out everybody hates me so that so that's not a very good energy it represents insecurity so and also unrequited love so let me see what's going on here spirit what is going on for the virgos why the five of pentacles for the month of March, seven of wands. So I feel like the seven of wands is where Virgo is sort of uh, being a hermit. You're, you know, there's some, there's some bitterness. Also the queen of swords comes up. I feel like a lot of you Virgos are possibly dealing with either, either an air sign, either an air sign or a fire sign, or even a water sign. But what do you, Spirit, what do you want Virgos to know about this Queen of Swords in March? Okay, the Three of Pentacles comes up. So I feel like the Queen of Swords is coming in, I feel like she can represent clarity, okay? Now, it may be clarity coming in through through a person. Maybe there's some information that's going to get shared, you know. But, you know, I feel like the Three of Pentacles does represent 
um, feeling better about the situation. I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of negativity that's being dealt with. There's some kind of insecurity that's coming up surrounding, you know, whichever lover this is. I am seeing more than one lover. So, you know, I feel like there is a situation that is going to come up for the Virgos, uh, you know, especially if now if you're in a relationship, the relationship is going, I feel like it's going to have some issues coming up in March. I feel like the issues that you're having, is, especially if you are insecure or if your lover is insecure, okay? Now, if you don't have an insecure lover, then this these cards are coming up for a reason. But I do feel like the three of pentacles comes up and it does sort of represent more than one person. You know, maybe there is... I, I feel like I'm seeing more than one lover, okay? So let's move on to April. Good Lord. Spirit, give me some... Oh, that's what I want to tell you. If you are single, there are people pursuing you. I feel like there are people that are trying to get you to come out and get you to, you know, date them or to be with them. But I feel like you're sort of in a place where you kind of just want to, you know sort of be alone. You know what I'm saying? In the month of March. So if you're single, you're sort of stuck on something. You're stuck in a in a mode of, you know, well, you know, I don't, you know, feeling, I don't know, maybe feeling like there's nobody for you. Just sort of coming from a place of I will tell you that you're tripping. You know, you're you're tripping. I feel like you need to get your confidence back up. Or whatever, but the three of pentacles does come up, so I do feel like the situation is going to turn around in your favor. However, it is going to cause some kind of bickering or argument. So I'm going to clarify why the five of swords in the month of April. Prince of swords, four of pentacles, queen of pentacles, and then again, the three of wands. <laughs> Are you seeing a pattern? I'm definitely seeing a pattern. Why do you keep finishing with these threes? So that repeat number three, the number 33, is evidently symbolic for you. So for these cards to represent the month, I feel like you're holding on to unhealthy. This is what I'll tell you, negative thoughts. You're holding on to negative thoughts about self. You're holding on to, especially if you're single, you know, you're sort of saying, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this because you're holding on to negative thoughts about yourself. Now, I will tell you that I feel like the Queen of Pentacles comes up because I feel like Queen of Pentacles saves you in the month of April because I feel like the Page of Swords does represent your mind. Your mind is already made up. Okay, you are just going to continue to hold on to this bad stuff, Virgo, and you don't care, and you're just going to hold on, you're just going to hold on. Now, again, if this reading doesn't resonate for you, you can go and look at your rising sign, but a lot of you Virgos need to hear this message. You are holding on to something, and, it, and, and you know what? It is so difficult for Virgos to let go. It is so difficult for you guys to hold, to, to let go of an unhealthy thought process or an unhealthy thing that you're thinking. And see, I had to just, I just had to explain to a Virgo a couple of days ago that I did a reading for that, you know, uh, you know, you holding on to those things and holding on to grudges and just holding on to the bad things, you know, you've got to let go of them. Your thoughts manifest the outcome. Your thoughts manifest your words. So it's almost like a domino effect. It's like your it, everything starts with your thought process and, and also your perception. So I feel as though in the month of April, that's what you're dealing with. Then I will tell you that I feel like you're starting off each cycle all wrong. Okay, so right now we have a new moon that's coming up. So I feel like what you're manifesting it's just really not good. And I feel like I feel like spirit guides are here. So 
this queen of pentacles is a spirit guide spirit guide and, and you know what if you need to get in touch with your spirit guide you can definitely contact me because they come up all the time and i feel like she's saying hey listen you need to get real and get right with yourself virgo you know you're not getting any younger and then also it's it's all about you know feeling good about yourself so, you know, you need to, you, I feel like what she's saying is that work on your insecurities, build yourself up. You have the power to do it. Don't allow people to use their energy to cause this to happen. Now, think now the eight of wands for May, I am hoping that this indicates that you guys are going to um, start to move forward, okay? Because you did get the seven of wands. So you're sort of stuck in the month of March. You're stuck somewhere. And and I, you know, and then in the month of April, you're, you're working through something else. And I feel like all signs are going to point to, and don't get me wrong, your lover is going to tell you this. If you're with somebody, they're still going to let you know what you're doing, what you're doing to cause them to be unhappy in the relationship, what they're not happy with. They're going to let you know, Virgo. So your lover, no matter what their zodiac sign is, they're communicating with you. They're telling you exactly where it's at. And if you're going to go, oh, no, that's not the truth. Or if you don't see their point of view, then, you know, it could lead to problems in your relationships and then a possible third party. Okay, so that's where that third party's coming from. Because, you know, I get the sense that the person that you're dealing with, they're holding on to the relationship because they do care about you and love you. But it's kind of difficult for them because they're saying to you, hey, I love you, but goodness gracious, you're driving me crazy. You're making it difficult to love you because you're holding on to all that negative stuff. And that's not my fault. I love you. So, you know, and if it's an unhealthy relationship, then maybe you need a cure for it. I don't know if, you know, it, it depends. If somebody is causing you to feel insecure, like actually doing that, then okay, yeah. But see, that's because the only way that can happen is if you're not being completely honest with them or if they're not being honest with you or if you're not being honest with yourself. OK, so I feel like it's a crapshoot for a lot of you. Let me clarify this eight. The three and the three does represent uh, uh, the, when you reduce it, it adds up to six. So. Spirit, give me some clarity on the eight of wands for the month of May 2018 for the Virgos for their love life. OK, the Hierophant and the emperor very good cards to get feel like the eight of wands represents it's not negative in this case i feel like this is where things start to move forward for you the hierophant could represent either in it could represent either an air or an earth sign lover or either a fire sign lover the emperor represents that i feel like what you're going to do i feel like if you're in a relationship, I feel like the relationship, instead of it being stuck where it was, I feel like in the month of May, I feel like you guys are going to move forward from whatever it is, okay? And um, I feel like the emperor does represent commitments. So I do feel as though if you are with somebody, you are going to have issues the next couple of months that are not going to be resolved until May, you know, but I feel as though, you know, it, I, I do sense a lot of heavy communication. I feel like in March, the communication is possibly not going to be that good. I feel like you are going to start communicating more so towards the end of March. That communication, it is going to be some kind of conflict that you're working out within the relationship. And I do see it as being worked out feel like the emperor represents things sort of being balanced and how they should be. 
Let's draw the next card. Judgment comes up. So the Hierophant, the Emperor, and the Judgment card comes up. So I will tell you, big news flash, huge red flag that spirits are throwing at me at you, about you, Virgo, is yes, things are going to move forward, but be careful to not judge so quickly. You have a tendency to judge very quickly. And that is creating problems. That's what the Hierophant is revealing to you. Feel like it's going to come together for you. I feel like you are going to get clarity on this, but you still, you, you will still have some, some difficulty, Virgo. But I feel as though whoever you're dealing with must really love you because they're trying to work it out. So I feel like you're very lucky in that case. I do feel like spirits are saying to you, use good judgment, okay? Don't judge too hastily. They told you twice because the Eight of Wands represents making hasty decisions, hasty actions, moving too fast. Don't, don't move too fast. Take your time, okay? Uh, one more advice card for the judgment card for the Virgos the two of cups so i feel like it represents a new relationship or either a relationship that balances itself out I feel like the judgment card and the two of cups when i see that card combination it's almost like a divine union something that may be karmic or from the past Maybe you're going to get some kind of answers or some kind of clarity or have some kind of past life connection coming up. So a lot of you singles, single Virgos, you're going to actually meet a lover in May. Love is coming up for you, either a fire sign, a water sign, or an air sign. Seriously can see that coming up for you. So if you're single right now, you're not involved. I see a lover coming in. Okay, new lover coming in in May. If you are involved, I do see you guys sort of revamping or starting over or having some kind of reboot of the relationship, but you're still working through issues. And I feel as though in the month of May, I feel like the relationship is going to go into that kind of bubble love atmosphere is what I can feel in the month of May. Okay. But I feel like you got to get through, because especially if you're dealing with somebody from your past, Virgo, you've got a history with them and you're working off some of that negative karma from either the previous life or either this current life. So you're working out things from the past. Okay. At any rate, I see a good outcome either way for a lot of you Virgos, but I feel like you're going to have to go through some things to get there. That's why you got these two fives. Also, the number five is a repeat number for you, so you may want to look that up. I'm not going to do it because I don't want these readings to be too long and drawn out, but I think you guys sort of get the point or, or whatever of what I'm saying. So anyway, thank you so much for watching Virgo. Again, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. I'll talk to you guys later. Blessed be.